Ito na, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to introduce our guest athletes. Let's start with... Ito, ito muna. Kasi yung, uh, yung pamilya nito, grabe. Na? From the dad to the mom to the kuyas all the way to her ay talagang super athletes. Uh, a former Ateneo Lady Blue Eagle, now a libero in the PVL team, the Akari Chargers. Without any further ado, Filipino fans, volleyball fans, let's all welcome Danny Ravenna. Hello, Hi, Danny. Hi, everyone. Hi, Sister Hi to the viewers. Kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? Excited to go? Okay, Ready to go? go? Oh, re- very excited and, you know, um, just preparing the best for the pros. So, <laughs> excited talaga. <laughs> We're very excited for your career too. We're very excited and uh, you're such an inspiration to a lot of athletes. So, Danny, you, before we you. jump sa ating kwentuhan, sa ating chat, uh, I'll bring in another, uh, actually, your fellow Lady Eagle uh, to <laughs> join us uh, this afternoon. Well, up next, we have uh, the best setter from UAAP Season 80. Uh, and now a member of uh, Setter of the Premier Volleyball League for Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Uh, let's all welcome. Ito na, drum roll. Miss Dina Wong! Woo-hoo! Hi, Dina! Ay, naka, naka-mute kaya ta, Dina. Let's check it again. Naku, hindi pa naman ang mga fans mo yung bati mo. Try it again, try it again. Ay! So, meron tayong konting tech. Uh, let's check with our with our back room. Kaya ba nating i-check? How about you, Dina? Can you try to unmute from your end? Ayun, naka-mute ka pa rin eh, no? So, uh, we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way. Alam mo, why don't you log out quickly then come back in? Okay, then uh, aabangan ka ng aming team in the back end. In the meantime, balik ko muna si, si Danny, ha? And then, don't worry guys, don't worry. Quick lang yan. Walang one minute yan kay Dina. Ha? Sanay na, sanay yan. Danny, ikaw muna. Um, before I bring back uh, Dina Wong back in, nasan ka ngayon? Where are you right now physically? Are you in Manila? Are you in the uh, residence? Yes, just Where at home. Actually, um, I'm just uh, at home po preparing for our flight tomorrow. We're facing uh, Ateneo for an exhibition game in Iloilo and in Bacolod. So very excited so, for that. <laughs> Iloilo and Bacolod. Yes, so yes. chance for you to yes, invite yung mga uh, Ilonggo tsaka mga nag- negrense natin yes, mga kaibigan. Mga, mga kababayan sa Iloilo, hello, Oinod kami. Um, now, before I used to go there and play for Ateneo, at least ngayon, Ateneo pa rin, pero I'm gonna play for Akari. So, Super excited and sana ma-enjoy niya yung game namin. Very excited to play for you guys. Finally, makikita niyo na po yung Akari team and um, sana mag ano, safe and healthy lahat po. So, Dani, sana sana ang game. Sana ang actual game. Sa balalaruin. Sa, you know? sa Iloilo po, sa uh, University of San Agustin and then okay. in Bacolod sa La Salle Gym. So, La Salle Gym. And, and what time? Is it okay to share the details? What time yung mga laro ninyo? Do you have uh, information already? Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's at 7. But we still have meetings. So, finally, mamimit na namin yung mga fans natin. And also oh, nice. for Akari Chargers. Nice. Yes. So, may meet, and, may meet and greet pa pala, no? For, for your, for your yeah. fans, for the volleyball fans there. Okay, that's, that's, that's beautiful. So, okay. Um... Balik na natin si Dina Wong para mas masaya yung kwentuhan nating tatlo, no? Dina, there you go! O oh, mag-hello ka muna sa lahat ng fans mo, Dina. Ayan, hello po sa inyo lahat. May gabi po sa tanan. <laughs> nice! So, may gabi sa iyo, uh, Dina. Are you in Manila or in Cebu? Where are you right now? Uh, Manila po, sir. Manila. Okay, okay. So, oh, ito na. Um, your fans have been clamoring. Wow! Check this out. Over 7,000 na nanonood sa atin. Ha? Danny and Dina. And, they, and they'd love to, to hear from you guys. So, um, gusto ko. Gusto ko isang munang uh, meron bang specific group uh, name yung mga fans sa inyo. Danny, meron bang uh, 
mga Danny fans club chat. Batiin mo muna ulit sila bago tayo mag-question and answer dito. Go ahead, Danny. Uh, team Danny. <laughs> super, ano, super unique nung name. Team Danny. Hello sa inyo, guys. Um, thank you for watching and to those who like, support sa amin nila, Dion on satellite. Hello sa nandiyan niya yung webinar today. Dina, ikaw naman. Yung mga fans ni Dina Wong. Kanina pa sila naghihintay sa'yo eh. <laughs> Medyo... <laughs> Well, actually, to everyone na lang who have supported not just me, syempre sa ibang teams, um, bukod sa Choco Mucho, and hopefully this coming PBL. Um, can't wait for you guys, and hope you continue to support us no matter what. So, ayan. Excited kami, ha, yung PBL. Um, galing, ano, Dina and Danny, how, how the sport of volleyball has really grown. Diba? Exponentially by leaps and bounds dito sa Pilipinas. So, unang tanong ko sa inyong dalawa, I'll start with Danny, then I'll go to Dina. Same question, no? But, ano bang ano? Anong, anong pakiramdam? Anong masasabi nyo being a female athlete here in in the Philippines? Kasi, pag naglakad kayo, pag tumungtong kayo sa hard court, when I, when I would cover games, grabe, no? Parang, Parang yung following niyo they really they really cheer for you they really root for you how does it feel Danny and uh, Dina to be an athlete here in the Philippines Danny I'll start with you Oh uh, definitely because you know coming from a very athletic family always under the limelight parang nakapanibago pa rin kasi you know when I was a kid I would just like dream of playing for Ateneo and then now that I played for Ateneo nagulat ako na even off uh, the court, even beyond volleyball, you know, there are still people following us, following me, na parang they want to know what's going on in my life. So I'm very, very blessed Jen, that I got to play in this generation because, you know, my mom would always tell me that sobrang swerte lahat ng volleyball players ngayon kasi sobrang dami yung fans and dami support during their time. Super, um, kati lang dun na nod sa Rizal Memorial. Tapos, um, uh-huh. mga relatives pa siguro more than the fans' relatives nila yung nanonood. <laughs> and now, just to see how big volleyball is, you know, in the Philippines. Super, super blessed. And, you know, we just want to inspire a lot of, um, not just women athletes, but also a lot of Filipinos athletes as well. Ganda nung siner mo, Danny. And uh, Dina, I'll pick it up from what Danny uh, shared with all of us. Inaasahan mo ba to, Dina, na nung, syempre, nung bata ka, gusto mo lang talaga mag-volleyball, gusto mo lang maglaro. Then all of a sudden, you, you jump into center court, eto ka na sa UAAP, then boom! Ganong kadami, sobrang dami ganda ng fans. But were you expecting this, Dina? Uh, not at all, sir. <laughs> really not um, expecting it. Kasi, well, up until today, nakaka-overwhelm pa rin siya. But at the same point, um, you feel really grateful because um, it opens up a lot of opportunities na uh-huh. akala mo hindi mo makuha from before. So like what Danny said, um, you feel really blessed and um, you get to really inspire other people, not just people who play sports, also um, from all ages, um, bata man, matanda man, you really get to inspire them na even you don't know why. So that's really... Me, personally, how I really feel. So, I, I guess from all, all athletes as well. Parang ano, no? Parang mga superheroes din kayo, di ba? Dahil uh, a lot of people look up to you, eh. Lalo na yung mga, yung mga kabataan, no? The, the younger generation would like to be a Danny Rivera, Ravenna and a Dina Wong someday. I'm, I'm sure they'd, they'd love to, to be like you guys. Okay, usapang training tayo, ha? Usapang training. Um... <laughs> Danny, go, guys. Ah, usap. Okay, natin ilalabas yung mga secret ng training ninyo, ha? Ah, kasi, di ba, we, we've heard from the experts, di ba? Kala, la, Doc Sam, kala Christine. Hindi pwedeng one size fits all, eh. Ang nutrition, ang training. I'm sure may iba-ibang regimen yan, di ba? Um, without revealing your secrets, Ah, sa so, kung paano maging mahusay na Danny at Dina. Ikaw, Danny, I'll start with you again. What's the most important part of your training regimen? Sige nga. Oh, definitely for me, my diet. Um, what I eat every day. Um, I, uh, with our PT coach Grace, high coach Grace, 
uh, he she really helps me a lot because you know I'm a very snacky eater so I eat a lot of snacks. Ako, I, hindi ako talaga? Big, yeah, hindi ako, hindi ako big meals and not a big rice fan but I do eat a lot of snacks and sometimes you know mas nakakompensate niya yung diet ko. I rather sabi ni Coach Grace, kailangan maayos yung kain because you know it just doesn't um end in training. Um, even at home, you can really um, improve your health, improve your um, yung longevity mo as a player. Important yan for me. Kahit you know I'm still young now. Shempre, I'm really hoping that I get to play for a lot of more years to come. Hopefully, so I have to uh, think about long term. Uh, goals also. So ma- mas nakapalang ano ha? mas nakapalang player. Yeah. Di ka naman, uh, di ka naman inaagawa ng snack na ni. <laughs> di ka naman, di ka naman inaagawa ng snack si Lucky for Chaka Third Day. Di naman. Hindi naman. <laughs> May kanya kanya po. Mini. <laughs> so um, it, ano lang? Kuro sa ako, Danny. Ani yung ani yung mga favorite snacks mo? Sige ha? para yung oh, mga no, fans kailan matuwa. Anything na chocolate. Yan yung mga fans ko po yes. after the game. Sila po talaga pinapagalitan ko kasi yung mga bawal, yun po yung gini-gift pa nila. I'm sure alam ni Dina po yan. Ko ano yung bawal. Tapos wala. Siyempre naman, diba? We want to appreciate them. So kakainin naman natin yung mga gifts. Oh, so as a way of oh. saying thank you. Yeah. <laughs> diba? Pag, pagmamahal na mga fans sa inyo yan eh. Pero I, 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 yeah. I don't know what you Di ba, minsan pag sobrang dami na doon tsokolate, patay tayo dyan. Yeah. Uh, Dina, I go to you. Ikaw naman, um, anong importante, pinaka-importante sa training regimen mo? Um, defi- definitely strength and conditioning. So, okay. um, at some point, um, we really focus on our endurance, on our um, strength nga and our conditioning because um, that also helps us during um, real matches. So, lagi namin inalagaan yung um, body namin. Bukod dun sa sinabi ni Dani na diet, because it's also really part. Kasi syempre, you really have to balance. Um, pero syempre, ano, to prevent injury as well. So, that's really um, one thing na inaalahan talaga ng athlete. To, uh, prevention of injuries. And syempre, bukod dun, mental health as well. So, yun. Uh-huh. Dina, sabi mo, strength and conditioning. Pero, ito ha. I'm sure matatawa kayo dito. Maraming athletes na there would come a point mas gusto lang natin maglaro eh, di ba? Bisa yung yung training nakaka bisa nakakatamad eh, di ba? Especially if you do it every day kasi ang competition din naman every day. Dina, how do you overcome that? How do you tell yourself, Dina? Stop. Kailangan mo mag pa-condition. Kailangan mo mag-ensayo. Si si Dani natatawa na diyan. Paano mo ginagawa yun, Dina? Actually, that's really normal for some athletes na we tend to forget um, to do strength and conditioning. Kasi nga, well, uh, being an athlete, ang gusto mo talaga maglaro talaga. Maglaro But I think it requires, um, yeah, it, re- it really requires a lot of discipline and perseverance, determination na you really have to, you really have to do what you have to do. So kasi ang iniisip ko hindi ka naman makapaglaro kung na-injured ka, 'di ba? So kailangan mo talaga unahin yung disiplina mo sa pagiging condition, tsaka yung uh, strength, strength and conditioning overall. So yun. Daddy, agree ka ba dun sa sa senior ni Dina na pagdating sa competition, syempre ang kalaban mo yung nasa opposite side ng court, no? Pero pag pag ensayo, pag strength and conditioning, kalaban mo yung sarili mo, eh, no? Diba? You have to yeah. you have to make sure that you are on point, di ba? Yes, I think I have super agree with Dina everything she said, but siguro my realization from fresh from college and then now in the pros, yung difference niya, nagulat ako sa ko para ang dami kong time because Um, syempre, no less classes. I only have one class per week. Uh-oh. And then after training, unlike in Ateneo, we used to have twice, thrice a day training. And then wow. now, once lang. Diba? So, parang hindi bago ko after training. Parang wala ang, ang board, board na ako sa bahay. Ano pwede gawin? But then again, that's where, um you know, being an athlete comes in. You have to really spend your time well, not only Um, doing extra work, but also the amount of rest that you put in, that's also crucial. And yun nga, um, we're not getting any younger, so we have to take care of our bodies as much as um, 
we get older, syempre, mas um, prone tayo sa mga injuries. And to avoid that, we have to invest a lot of time and a lot of effort um, sa chef and conditioning, which is, you know, plays a lot, a crucial, crucial role in you know, the careers of all athletes, not just volleyball players, but basically um, all sports talaga. Dani, may mention kang ano, eh, key term, eh, recovery, no? Uh, quickly, after training, after the game, how many hours of, of sleep ang um, sa tingin mo kailangan mo? Ikaw, ah, as Dani Ravena, para the next day, you can do it all over again. Mga ilang hours ka? 24. Uh, <laughs> 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 Lagi ko po roommate si Dina. Lagi ko roommate Actually, po si Dina. So, alam na how much I love, I love to sleep. But, you know, si, now... Si Dina, um, si Dina na ang sumagot para sa'yo, eh. 24 hours, Dina. <laughs> ang uh, kailangan na, ito. Time, si Dani? Yeah. <laughs> Ni Dina knows. <laughs> Pero, now, <laughs> now, siguro, um, at least, minimum talaga po, at least 6 hours for me. Like, I get crampy na. Pag sa training, pag less lang. But, 6 to 8 hours. More than 8, my head hurt, starts hurt, to hurt na. And it's, I, I don't feel na I'm as productive in training as I am when it's like 6 to 8 hours of sleep. So, Ikaw, ikaw Dina, ganoon din? Uh, around that number, mga 6 to 8 hours? Um, siguro ganoon, pero I see to it na at least really 8 hours. So, 8 hours? 8 hours. Okay, yeah. Kasi ano. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but ka natatawa dyan, share mo naman. Mukhang meron kang mga fans <laughs> din dyan sa... <laughs> Wala po, ako lang pa dito. <laughs> okay, alam mo, I have to say, say this also no, dun sa mga young viewers natin na 6 to 8 hours sinasabi ni Danny sabi ni Dina pero yung 6 to 8 hours huwag naman kayo matulog ng alauna ng umaga tapos di ba gigising kayo ng uh, alas 9 ng umaga wag at uh, pinaka-optimal pa rin talaga nasa mga 9pm 9.30 nights out na and then, and then get your 6 to 8 hours from there di ba okay um, eto maganda to um Hi, Dina and Danny. We're gonna flash it on the screen. Ha? Uh, ito muna. How long have you been consuming Gatorade from, from JC ito? And how has it helped you in your training and games? Danny, I'll start with you. Gano'n katagal ka na naging Gatorade? At gano'n ba ito nakakatulong sa'yo sa training tsaka sa actual competition? Oh, that, I don't think I'm the years of how long I've been drinking it even since I started taking badminton pa lang po. You know, I as an athlete kasi if you want to recover well, if you want to um have something to help you uh, boost your energy, keep that energy throughout the game. It's always that go to Gatorade. So, um siguro in years na and then um as I grew older, I also discovered that it's not just during games that uh Gatorade helps me a lot, but more so recovery when I'm at home if you know I feel uh-huh. a little bit dra- uh, drowsy or down especially during the pandemic I would just drink it and you know, try to treat and you know I feel a lot better after and any any um favorite sa mga flavors kasi ako yung pinaka paborito ko yung grape eh. ikaw meron ka ba uh, paborito na ni the OG ako the blue one Oh, ah, talaga? Oo, oh, 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 pati si Dina. O, o yung mga fans sila, Danny and Dina, baka doon na rin kayo sa blue, di ba? Para... Yeah, so that na yung blue. <laughs> uh, Dina, ikaw naman, um, how long have you been consuming Gatorade? And paano ba ito nakakatulong sa'yo, training and game-wise? Uh, honestly, I've been a very um, fan of Gatorade even from before. So, um, well... My teammates know it, uh, my management know, knows it talaga kasi matagal ko na sinasabi na gusto ko mag Gatorade, ganito, ganyan. Pero I think I've started um, consuming Gatorade when I started playing volleyball. So I think that was grade 6. Tapos nag, um, nag, naging ano na siya kasi nung college namin sa Ateneo, I think that was our um, drink, our energy drink during games especially. And now in the pro, um, it's one of our sponsors. So it has helped me through a lot. I think, yun nga, it's my go to drink, especially. Well, paminsan nga hindi na nga ako nagtutubig. <laughs> Nagigitarin na ako <laughs> sa training. Sa, 
Tsaka sa ano, tsaka sa game. So, you barely, you rarely see me drink water. So, I think that shows how a fan I am. So, you either eat. <laughs> oh, kayong, kayong dalawa ba? Did it ever happen to you na na dehydrate kayo sa isang game? Huwag na yung training ha, dahil minsan, baka mamaya, especially na nag-aaral kayo, di ba? Baka kulang sa tulog. You go to practice three times uh, a day ang ensayo. Talagang minsan ma-dehydrate ka. Pero sa games, nangyari na ba yan? And, and kung na-dehydrate kayo, ah, how did it affect your your performance? Danny, I'll go back to you. Ikaw. Oh, definitely. I think yung power ko kasi I'm a very dinarosist. I'm a bad person on and off the court. So, non-stop yung salita ko as in siga, whatever. Um, so, I get really dehydrated quick. But, you know, uh, especially as a libero, you have to keep on moving. Kailangan non-stop yung galaw mo. Um, it gets frustrating when you know that your energy is not the same as it was during the first set. Especially uh-huh. when it comes to the fifth set their matches. Tapos, like, didikitan pa yung score. Um, you want to make sure na your energy stays consistent or even gets higher as you um, play longer. And sometimes it doesn't happen, but, you know, that's why you prepare for it also and you have the right um, tools with you so you always have that um, boosted, uh, booster of energy which is for me of course the data engine talaga B- buti sana no buti sana to kung hanggang 3 sets ng lahat ng laro diba pero minsan <laughs> eh, diba Nina umaabot na ng 5 sets tapos minsan extended 14 set 14 pa <laughs> diba 14 extended alpha. Uh, extended set pa. So, um, Dina, ikaw naman, uh, nung, 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 nung na-dehydrate ka sa, sa isang laro, uh, anong, anong, anong effect naman nun sa, sa game mo? Uh, just like what Danny shared ba? Pareho ba? Uh, more or less the same naman. Pero kasi, um, when you get dehydrated during a game, um, Hindi naman sa sobrang naka-affect siya, pero syempre humihina ka, parang you run, you run out of breath. Especially uh, me, as a setter, yung akong si Danny non-stop na galaw, ako rin parang non-stop na takbo kasi you, don't re- you really don't know where the ball goes and it's my um, job to be able to get the second ball always. So uh-huh. syempre, pag, um, you really get dehydrated from time to time, especially after long rallies, yun talaga. Uh-huh. Kasi yeah. lahat na lang saan pumupunta yung bola. So ayun, parang minsan wala ka ng lakas or like, yun nga, you're, you really run out of breath. So, well, Gatorade to the rescue, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I like what you said there. Very cheeky. Kasi sa Ateneo, ako po nag-receive kay Dina. So, kahit saan po talaga pupunta yung bola, kaya pagod na pagod po si Dina. No? Bravo, Hina, hinahabon niya, diba? Kasi, <laughs> so, thank, diba? thank you, Gatorade, for keeping Dina energized always. <laughs> kasi, kasi ikaw ang first ball, eh, diba? Sa bully ni... Oo, oh, sorry. Akin, akin. Walang receive. Ni Dina yan. Bawe, bawe. So, so, oh, yeah. so, ang ganda ng siner ninyo, no? Na... Now, when you get dehydrated, importante talaga that you replenish this, uh, itong mga lost fluids sa, sa katawan ninyo. And, and really, that's, that's when Gatorade comes in. Not, not, nothing hydrates better than Gatorade. You have to put in all those lost fluids to be able to compete at, uh, at a high level, di ba? So, speaking of competition, okay, um, marami tayong... Marami kayong fans. We have, we have over 8,000 watching us right now. Different ages ito. Ah. So, nandyan yung mga bata. Nandyan yung mga kaedada ninyo. Nandyan din yung mga kaedada namin na humahanga <laughs> sa inyo. Um, and they always want to ask athletes. In this case, kayong dalawa. Anong mindset ng isang Danny Ravena? Mindset ng isang Dina Wong when it comes to sports? Not just volleyball. Okay. When it comes to sports, anong mindset mo, Dani? Anong mindset mo, Dina? Uh, Dani, I'll start with you. Oh, syempre for me, you know, ang bigat na agad ng last name ko eh. Even before I entered volley- the volleyball world, it's like, there's pressure for me to be this great athlete. And, you know, I always say this, before it used to bother me not na parang, it sucks na parang I'm in this position, I'm in this family because I just want to play and then everyone's already saying their opinions about me. They don't even know how I play, they don't even know how hard I work. 
But as I grew older, it's like the pressure that comes with it. You know, other athletes they want that um, attention. Because, syempre, in this uh, field, para kailangan mo talaga na may tumitingin sa you so that you can be recognized. And you know, with me and my family, it's like we don't even have to do anything. So instead of looking that as you know some sort of a negative um, thing, it's something positive for me because it shows na parang you know everyone's really expecting a lot from you. It means that they know that you can be someone great. They know that you can achieve a lot, like my from my parents to my brothers. So yung pressure siguro um, for my mindset. It's really you know I just have to do um, play my game. That's it. I don't. Uh, put in unnecessary thoughts in my head. Whatever other people say, it's up to them. Um, what who I will listen to is up to me. My parents, I will listen to them. Of course, my coaches, the people na I trust that surrounds me. Champa naman yung um, pinapahingan na, natin dapat. Mm-hmm. And then eventually everything else will follow. The people will see you. The people will recognize you. Champa for doing well. So yun na yung mindset ko. Just really um, play my game and then. Um, eventually, everything will follow. Talaga. Great answer, Danny. Alam mo, while I was listening to you, uh, looking at the comments here, uh, I think the fans and the volleyball world would agree. Na kahit na may Ravenna yung pangalan mo, ginawa mo yung Danny. Eh. Ikaw yun eh, uh, di ba? Uh, tumulong yung Ravenna in pushing you, but it was you who created Danny Ravenna. And and ako, I I tip my hat off to you. I salute you for that. Uh, continue being uh, a great inspiration to athletes. Dina, ikaw naman, anong mindset mo when it comes to sports? Kasi um, not only do you represent the volleyball community, um, Ateneo, yung team mo kayo sa PVL, not, pati, pati Cebu, di ba? No, don't forget that. Um, mga Cebuano, mga Cebuano, they look up to you. So, what's your mindset when it comes to sports, Danny? Uh, da, Dina, sorry. Um... Well, when it comes to sports, my mindset really is to win, siyempre. But with that, it also becomes being a great athlete. Pero, ayun, um, yung great athlete kasi, for me, the definition of it isn't, um, doesn't mean you being great in that sport. But it also means you being remembered by everyone. Kasi malaki yung impact na nabigay mo sa kanila. And um, with everything else, syempre, um, yung mindset ko rin na you experience setbacks, you, in- you experience failures, and from there, you get to improve and become a better person. So, yun po yung sa akin. So, hindi ko na masyadong hawain kasi ang galing na nasagot ni Dani. So, yun lang po yung sa akin. So, wow. I mean, <laughs> what, what you mentioned this is, is really good dahil uh, at the end of the day, di ba, yung gusto mo maalala ka ng tao for the, for the right reasons. And, and just like Danny, Dina, I would say, I, I watch you play also, ang galing ng, ng demeanor mo inside the court, magaling din ang demeanor mo outside the court. And then you guys are, if I would to use an adjective, perfect role models for for any sport aficionado. Huh? So, um, ang sarap, ano? It's, it's 6.04 in the evening. I want to continue our kwentuhan, pero unfortunately, good things will have to come to an end. But... Bago ka umalis, Danny, at mag-prepare sa trip mo tomorrow for, for your trip to Iloilo and Makolod. Um, final words muna sa mga fans ni Danny Ravena, fans ng uh, uh, sporting community, okay? Volleyball fans. Uh, I'll give you the, the, the floor, Danny, to, to give your final message. Go ahead, Danny. I just want to say, of course, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much sa lahat sumu- ng sumuporta sa akin. During my Ateneo um, career, now moving on to the pros, Akari, um, we're a new team. Very excited to play for you guys. Um, Site naren makalaban si Dina, <laughs> so um, very very ano lang. Uh, kumbaga, we're just really so thankful. And of course, to my Gatorade family, thank you all always for having my back, my family's back since the beginning of our career. So I'm just excited to move forward and. Um, so, thank you, thank you for today. Dina, thank you. Nakamiss to. So, uh, yun lang. Sana nag-enjoy lahat ng viewers. Keep supporting us. Keep supporting me.
Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Mm-hmm. Ah. Thank you. Ah, but don't, don't go yet. Dina, ikaw naman dahil uh, sa ganda sabi ni Danny uh, from dating roommates, excited siya makalabang ka na sa, <laughs> sa next tournament. But Dina, your message to your to your fans, to the volleyball community, to the sporting community, um, please, the floor is yours. Um, like I always say, um, thank you, thank you, everyone, very much. Um, sa lahat ng sumuporta. So, hindi lang ako. Well, all of us, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. So, kayo yung isa na dahilan kung bakit kami dito. And hope you really continue to support us all the way. Uh, matalo man, manalo man, andyan pa rin kayo. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat. Dagang salamat at gigug mo ko kayo. O, ba diba, Sir Chiki? I love that. Dagang salamat. <laughs> Dagang salamat, Dina Wong. And, um, volleyball fans, I hope uh, you enjoyed this. Uh, our uh, sports fans, I hope you enjoyed uh, our session with Danny Ravenna and Dina Wong. We are close to 9,000, ladies. We are close to 9,000 viewers then uh, silang kasama natin bago maghapunan. So, um, once again, palakpakan natin Danny Rivera and Dina Wong. Um, before I let you go, uh, before I let you go, lahat naman ng schools, gusto natin, di ba? Uh, uh, Lasal, UST, San Beda, San Sebastian, lahat po yan. Lahat, pero nagkataon lang ko na natsambahan lang that we all came from the same Alma pa, same school, one alma mater. Iba-ibang batches lang. So, bago tayo mag ha? Let's do this, ladies, together with me. I say, one! Big! Five! <laughs> Danny Rivera, Dina Wong, thank you very much. Continue to fly high. Continue to fly high. Continue to, greet, uh, to reach great heights. And continue to inspire everyone. Uh, everyone. Thank you, sir. Uh, volleyball, Thank you. Volleyball man yan. Okay. Ha? Thank you. And uh, ingat sa biyahe tomorrow, Danny. And good luck sa PVL din. Thank, uh, you, Thank, uh, you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Stay safe. Dagan salamat. Wow! Ang sarap naman nun. I enjoyed that. Thank you to all our fans who stay with us. Uh, meron pa kami isang surpresa para sa inyo. Uh, dahil kung natuwa po kayo kay uh, Dina and uh, Danny, we have a, one more special guest for today making an equally special appearance. She was also a former player of the Ateneo de Manila University Lady Eagles and is currently the team captain of the Creamline Cool Smashers. Walang iba kundi si Eliza Valdez. Uh, and right now, she is in Thailand in between games. Huh? In between games. And we were lucky enough to ask her a few of our burning, burning questions early on. So we'd like to share this with you. Our short moment in between games in Thailand, former Lady Blue Eagle, Eliza Valdez. Enjoy. I'm Eliza Valdez and welcome to all the GSSI Webinar Series 2022 participants. Hello guys! Free game and free training because I have to be ready. Uh, for the intense and quality training given by our coaches, uh, I want to prepare my body and my mind to all na to all the situations na pwede yung during practice. So that's why it's very important for me to really prep and really prepare everything na na pwede kong gawin para handang handa ako sa sa training namin. And also the cool down after practice, it's very important for me na makapag cool down because you wanna tell your body na it's time to rest and recover. Being a female athlete, one thing na experience ko talaga would be the girl thing. I'm not sure if all or most of us na girls na into sports experience this minoria, but that's one thing. I'm experiencing most of the time during practice, during games. I would feel super intense abdominal pain, and I feel so weak. Scientifically, also very aware din naman na yung mga coaches and mga trainers naman, so they know what what to do. You've learned different things, eh, in different parents during 
sa different stages ng ng volleyball career mo. During elementary, you 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 learn the basics. You learn to be patient. When I was in high school, I probably learned how to to do different skills also. When I went to college, it's applying everything. When I, now that I'm in the pro, it's actually transitioning or adapting different coaching style. So ko talagang nag-evolve ang aking preparation when I was still young, but I think I was on the right track because I was surrounded by very knowledgeable and smart people that helped me really make it to a point na yung performance ko and my siguro yung laro ko would still be there kahit anong mangyari. Siguro example would be yun nga simula high school pa lang invest na kami sa sa weight sa weight training and pagdating ng college I was very prepared sa mga things na pinapagod ng coaches namin kasi I'm well aware na kanon pala dapat ang pag-aalaga sa katawan. Nutrition also, meron din kaming nutritionist when we were in high school. Nung college, we just maintain, I just maintained it. And then, ngayon sa pro, alam mo yun, parang given na kung ano yung mga dapat mong gawin na sanay ka na, na disiplina ka na when I was in, in high school and college. I watch what I eat. It's basically nutrition talaga. You have to keep in check talaga your nutrition kasi that's where you get your energy para mo sustain mo lahat and ma ma maintain mo yung performance mo. And one thing that I I'm I'm really learning up to now talaga is you have to be hydrated all the time. Right? Yun talaga basically when I got sick that's one thing the doctor said that na parang kailangan hydrated ka palagi all the time. Lagi ka dapat hydrated. One thing na I've learned then is that to have parang mga whey protein that help us really gain more muscle that will help us play better and perform better. So that's it. Honestly, wala naman kaming uh, gender specific things to do also in, na, and to eat na sinasabihan kami din ng mga coaches namin. Uh, to all the aspiring athletes out there, all I want to say is it's never too early to take care of your bodies. Uh, invest as early as now kasi most, special, most especially sa health natin and sa nutrition natin. Because ako as a, as a player, I'm I'm lucky that I'm I was surrounded by great people who really invested on that. That's why up until now I can still play and still maintain uh, all the things that I've uh, invested. So I think that's all. And don't forget to also enjoy, have fun, and sometimes you'll encounter some. Uh, uh, failures, mistakes, but at the end of the day, that will make you stronger and better individuals and better athletes. So, hope I me uh, I hope to uh, watch you guys soon. You guys are the future of the of uh, Philippine sport. So, see you guys soon.